I th- I th- just a funny thing to mention. I thought it kind of fit re- it well. The problem was it kind of curled up, but yeah, I, I thought you actually had to cosplay to go to a convention. And once I tried it, people started saying, oh, I know that guy, I know where you are, can we take pictures with you? And then I thought, okay, and I kind of like how that went. So I just, weren't, so I just rolled with it. Actually, I feel a lot more uh, confident in myself, actually. I could do this every day, but I would get funny looks at work. I'm on TV! Doesn't make any sense to me either, don't worry. Okay, dressing up as someone else gave me a chance to open up and make friends with new people. I've been working like basically a full time job on it for the past two months. That's what happened. And about two days ago, and it went about post nuclear. Oh my god, it feels so weird! (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I look beautiful now! We had a huge fight about the skirt on her Hatsune coat costume. I'm Lily, I'm commonly known as Secret Attire, and I'm a cosplayer. That is something I haven't thought about, having to like put on a bra and then stuff it in order to cosplay a female character. Sort of reversing what I've surgically done. Physically you might have changed, but um, you know, it hasn't really changed how I feel. My name is Lucas, also known as Twin Fools, and I am a cosplayer. Sorry, I saw like a really weird bug and it totally distracted me. This is my favorite convention. <laughs> it's Brocon. Oh. I'm not really sure why. I'm just like, don't want to be here. <laughs> my name is Danae. Uh, my alias online is Rifa, and I'm a cosplayer. this big, like, religious experience.